Hello Scorpio and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. All they can think about is you. Um, you could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio or you could be a uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn maybe. Put yourself where you need to. Um, this person is feeling like they're being kept away from the one that they actually want. I feel like they're in a commitment here. They could even have like a home, a property, right? Um, a lot of bills, a lot of uh, material items, you know, things like that. The, the queen and king and pentacles, they're... Um, they can be materialistic, but I just feel like this is a married couple uh, with a home, possibly a family, and I feel like um, they somebody here sabotaged you. Okay, that's the feeling that I'm getting, or reverse the roles if you have to. Okay, this person feels like a fool. Um, they, yeah, they did something very impulsive. They're feeling really guilty. I feel this heavy feeling of guilt off of this person, I gotta say. Um, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Vir heavy on Virgo, maybe Aries. They can't sleep at night over this. Yeah, you're moving forward and you're in the public eye. Um, yeah, you could be, um, I could be talking to a star. I feel like um, you're, you've got some kind of platform maybe um, on, on social media. You're a guide for other people, an empath, a healer. You've got this very beautiful, calming energy. Did you guys hear it in my voice, too? I could feel it coming over me. I'm like, oh, you're beautiful. Yeah, you're gorgeous. You're stunning. You're putting yourself out there. You're very intuitive. You're having a victory, moving forward, moving on. You could be um, out there dating, right? And just moving on with your life, having a major victory, a big glow up here. You could be a Cancer or an Aquarius. Star energy, and I feel like um, this person wants to come in. You know, here's the thing. They're falling apart. I feel like you could already be meeting somebody new here. I'm getting the sense that this is someone new, and... When you get somebody new, and the next love offer you get, this there's going to be no chance for this person who's falling apart to get you back. This is somebody who's just, look, they made some impulsive decisions, some foolish mistakes, huge errors here, right? Um, they weren't thinking what they were doing. I, I feel like this person just kind of did whatever they wanted and acted on impulse, they came towards you. They betrayed you in a third party. You were you were the one who was sacrificed, but I feel like it was some kind of public. It feels like it had been public humiliation or something for you. And they broke your heart, and you were very loving. You know, nobody loves in the deck. No one loves like the Queen of Cups. Her MO is love. Very spiritual being as well. Very highly intuitive here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Heavy on Cancer. Okay. Yeah, but I feel like this person, they were skipping out on this Queen of Pentacles. I feel like they already had um, either a long-term relationship or a commitment or marriage they could have purchased a home or something together here. They could even have a business together, okay? And I feel like, yeah, now this person, the guilt is eating them alive. It is of what they did to you. And they're feeling like a complete fool because you're the one out here in star energy. You're the one having the victory. And you're moving forward to new love. And they're about to miss their opportunity here with you yeah and they're watching i feel like um they're watching you everything that you put out here um on, on the internet i feel like they're seeing and this is they're they're realizing because of what they did to you in the past and the decisions that they made and the fact that they're in a commitment this is their justice they're they're kind of they're suffering here and they're suffering in silence, okay? I feel like they're unable to talk to anybody about this, maybe. Um, at least not this Queen of Pentacles that they're with. 
they're falling apart and very guilty for what they did to you. They're suffering their karma for the betrayal on you. They're watching you, literally watching you on a glow up, getting new love. And they can't, they're falling apart at night. This is somebody who's not eating, not sleeping, right? If they're sleeping, they're having nightmares about you. Um, yeah, and I feel like all they can think about is, you know, maybe here's the thing. Maybe they got somebody pregnant and they felt like they had to get married. That could be it too. But I feel like this person... They, yeah, they just want to reunite. They want to get you to calmer waters. Um, this is all that they can think about. At night, they can't sleep. During the day, all they think about is getting back together with you. Not knowing how they're going to get you to, you know, they just want to leave with you or something. This person, yeah, I feel like they daydream about you, but they are heartbroken. They're heartbroken. Yeah, they took your love. They betrayed you. They backstabbed you. You know, I feel like you've been waiting to uh, for an explanation and an apology for what was done to you because I don't see you doing anything wrong to, to whoever this was. You didn't. You didn't do anything wrong to them. You were very loving, kind, compassionate, caring, nurturing. Um, you know, you were a sweetheart to this person. Very peaceful. You know, you you uh, you didn't you didn't seek any kind of revenge, you know, on anybody. You didn't when they made their choice. That I feel like they could have ghosted you, right, and left you um, behind, crying, right, and alone, abandoned you, sacrificed you. Yeah, they they really did a lot here. I feel like there was a community that could have known about it too. There could have been a lot of um, talk about this behind your back. Talking about, you know, bringing down your reputation, that kind of thing. They've got a lot of explaining to do. Let's just say that. You could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, I feel like it was all about passion. Maybe you were just, um, you were somebody that they couldn't resist. Maybe they thought they would get away with it. I feel like this person used you. I feel like they used you. And, you know, now they, they're they falling apart because you're, you know, yeah, they used you. Um, I feel like this person was very toxic. They were already in a toxic situation. You could be dealing with a, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or a Capricorn. Um, I feel like the, the whatever marriage or commitment this, these two are in, it could be... Um, it could be for lust, for passion, or for money. Yeah, and that's what this is. Yeah, they were providing for somebody. And, um, yeah, I feel like they they left a queen of cups who gave them nothing but love. Um, and they chose passion with a toxic partner that they were providing for here. That's it's all about. It's all about uh, basically lust and money wherever they are, and it's all about love with you. Love and honesty. And they had a hard time choosing? I feel like this person had a hard time making a decision. How? how? All right, but anyway, yeah, I feel like um, they're feeling kind of stuck here. They're seeing you as, oh my gosh, they're seeing you as wish fulfillment. You could have children with this person maybe, but I feel like this is just them daydreaming. They just sit and daydream about you. They, that's all that they do. They think about you. They, they want to come forward here. You may have this person blocked because of what they did. They may be afraid to approach you because you don't want to deal with anybody who's um, going to treat you in a toxic way. You know, they're, um, they're wearing body armor here. So they're, they're afraid. They're afraid um, because they know all that they did to you. What they did was absolutely horrible. You know? I feel like they, they completely dogged you out and threw you to the wolves. I was just about to say that. 
They dogged you out. They threw you to the wolves. You could be a cancer. And now I feel like the door is closed on them. It's the end to a cycle here. And the wheel of fortune, I feel like it's turning in your favor. You're the star out here having a victory. You're healed too because you're, you know, you're very good at, at healing others, but that's because you've had to heal yourself so much from, you know, a lot of pain and trauma. And I feel like now you're, yeah, you're moving on. You've got this person blocked. They may even need to, like, if they can't reach you by phone, they know they may need to come and approach you face to face. And that scares them the most. How do they look you in the eye after all that they've done? But they're not happy where they are. They're realizing they missed out on um, the most decorative cup in the deck. Uh, they missed out on your love, on a star, on having a victory with you, on the wheel of fortune, right? They missed out on this, and I feel like their guilt is eating them alive. I, they either they either need to come in and make you an offer to get back together, or they need to apologize. Either way, they know they have to get this off of their chest. But they've waited so long to do it. Like, they feel kind of stupid coming in now. You know what I mean? They feel kind of stupid coming in now. I, I don't know what else to say. But you are their wish fulfillment here. Look, they know they could have had happiness and peace and a loving connection and emotional fulfillment with you. A star. You know? And possibly even a fortune coming up in your future opportunities you are this person's wish fulfillment they could be doing a lot of drinking these days because you know um whatever they chose over you it's not fulfilling to them anymore okay it's not you know and their conscience is not letting them forget about you yeah look at this you're about to get an offer you're about to hear from this person they want their they want a new beginning with you they want this new beginning with you i feel like you know you're not even speaking to them you're not because they need to approach you correctly and they haven't yet yeah you're bringing down this person's tower because i feel like they were very immature because and because of all of the rumors and the gossip about you i feel like they were they were just too immature you know they may even be like um if you don't have them blocked, they may be trying to text you. I, I want to talk. I want to start over. I want to talk. I'm in love with you. Do you understand? I want this, you know? I want to get back together. Please, please. You could be getting some emotional messages from this person, and you're not speaking. You're not. You're not. You won't answer them back. You know? I feel like... Um, yeah, on your empress throne, you're just not, you're not toying with this, and you're not going to be toyed with. So I feel like this person feels the need to approach you face to face, and they're so scared. They're scared. They may be asking other people about you. I, I had um, the three of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I feel like you're cutting this person out. You're taking control of the situation in your own life. You're done waiting around. You've been put through it, but you're coming out a warrior with the chariot and the queen of wands. Yeah. And you're just done. You're, you've reached for a new beginning here and you're going for it. And I feel like you're cutting this person out because it just it's taken them too long to come in. This is something that um, could have been going on for three or four years. That I, you may not even feel the same way about them anymore, right? That, that's what they're wondering, and I feel like it's true. Um, yeah, you give this person the cold shoulder, and then you look towards your future. You cut them out, you look towards your future. Because, you know, they haven't ended anything yet, I feel. You know, there's a tower card out here, but I feel like that's a tower you're delivering to this person when you refuse to speak to them. And somebody here is not going to be talking to this person, no matter how emotional they get. And I feel like they will get a little bit emotional here. 
this cup is overflowing. Um, please, please collect them. Oh, please collect them. Because, you know, their guilt is, like I said, it's eating them alive. Yeah, I feel like you're done. You're done with the situation. This is a cycle I feel that's over. You're moving forward, collective. Um, yeah, I'm, yeah, I heard, I just heard, let them whine all they want. That's what I heard from somebody. Somebody just said that. Let them whine all they want. Um, <laughs> all right, so let's check their emotions, okay? Okay, how is this person feeling about the collective? They're drained, they're exhausted, they can't take it much longer. I feel like this whole thing is eating them alive. And you know, it's almost like they're being watched by the divine. I'm seeing this as a big eye, right? Watching this person. Um, seeing how they're falling apart here, little by little, because of that guilt. The guilt is eating them alive, okay? Yeah. I feel like they, they want to be free. The person that they're currently with, I feel it's more of a French, friends with benefits kind of situation. Um, they may have gotten somebody pregnant. This could be a family that they're, they've been devoted to. Um, but it's platonic love. Okay, that's what this says. So, yeah, they want to free themselves from this so that they can come to you. You're their match. They see you as their match. They admire you. They could be trying to telepathically communicate with you right now as well. I can see that going on, but you're not, you've got a wall up. You really are like a, like a brick wall here with the high priestess and the empress. You're not speaking to this person yet. They're, they're overwhelmed with emotion, okay? Like I said, I feel like they're going to reach out to you and it's going to be emotional. They're going to get emotional and you're, you're still not going to listen to them. It's overwhelming for this person. I'm telling you, that's what this is. It's overwhelming. A lot of anxiety, right? Anxious, panicky. Um, things could be going way wrong in their life, too. Like, they could be having some money issues. They could be having a hard time holding things together. Um, too many burdens for this person, okay? Um, I feel like they are a provider. They could have a, a business that could be, you know, going crazy here. I don't know. Swamped. It says swamped. I feel like they just can't keep it together. They're too emotional, and all they can do is focus on you. Yeah, they're feeling very vulnerable. I feel like they can't. They're on shaky ground. Um, they're, they're having a hard time getting their balance in their own life. And they know that you're getting away, and they don't want you to get away, okay? They don't want you out of their life. They're lonely with everybody else around them, um, wherever they chose to be. Those are, those are people that they're not even vibing at their level anymore. Um, they're, they're lonely no matter how many people they're around. And that's the worst kind of loneliness that you can have. Okay? They just don't feel like, yeah, and I feel like um, they want to choose. They need to choose a path here between somebody that they're with that could be very resentful and bitter um, because this person is uh, losing their focus on that relationship. They're only thinking about you. They're in love with you. Whoever they're currently with may know this, okay? They may know about you, and they know that your person is in love with you. Whoever they're with, they, they have love for them too, but it's not the same kind of love. It's a friendship love. They, this masculine has romantic love for you. And they are, like, losing control of their emotions right now, okay? Their, their tower's coming down. That's, like, a big kick in their gut is what it feels like, all right? Yeah, I'm telling you, they, they want to choose a different path, but it's taken them too long. It's just taken them too long to make a decision. 
you know. This could also be somebody who could live at distance from you. Let's see what they have to say. Ooh, that came out fast. I settled for second best because I don't deserve you. Okay, yeah, they, maybe this person thought they didn't deserve love the way you gave it, you know? Um, I crossed, I crossed, oh, that, I'm sorry. I know that I crossed the line with you. It was my fault, but I blamed you. Yeah, I feel like that's what happened. I'm feeling like this was public and they told lies about it and, and put all the blame on you. I don't know. I feel like something went public here. Feels like public humiliation. I want to contact our mutual friends to ask about you. Yeah, I, I picked that up um, in your reading. I feel like they may be asking other people about you. I'm trying to move on, but thoughts of you still linger. I can't, and I can't control them. Um, you brought out the best in me. I came alive in your presence. Yeah, because you showed them love. Love, but I feel like what they, what they wanted to hold on to was passion, lust, and money in a toxic situation. Material items, properties, things like that. I feel like I don't know who I am anymore. Yeah, they are so confused. They're so confused. And they're looking for you everywhere out there, Collective. Hoping to bump into you. Hoping to see your face, you know. But I feel like they are afraid to look you in the eye. Um, but yeah, um, they don't even know. I mean, they're realizing their, the choices that they made. They're falling apart. Um, they can't stop thinking about you. This person's losing it, man. They're losing it. They're losing.